to a new video on my channel. I hope you all are doing fine. I hope you all are doing all right. And so today's video is going to be another learn a language with me video. Like this time we're going to learn some Dutch and oh, I'm going to teach you some Dutch. And so yeah, let's get started. And these are the scanned in pages from yet another Asimil book. Like I also learned Dutch with Asimil at least a bit. When it comes to Dutch, I have to say I didn't really learn a lot. Like Dutch and German are really similar and I already speak German. German is my native language and so it wasn't really hard for me to learn Dutch and yeah, I never really learned the grammar. That's why my grammar knowledge is not so good. And so also when I speak, my speaking is really German, so to say, like I, whenever I don't know the word in Dutch, I'm just going to guess what it could be. Or I'm just going to say the German word in a Dutch, in a Dutch version. But yeah, we're just going to get started now. And so, as I said, this book is by Asimil, and if you don't know how these books work, like, this is basically Asimil is a language learning company, like, they just create language learning material, mainly books and audio files, and some other workbooks or something like this. And, yeah, basically how these books work is just you have um, a text in your target language, so in this case Dutch, and then on the other side you have the translation, the translated text, either in English or also in your native language. Um, and then you have some notes below the text. So as an example, some grammar notes, some pronunciation notes, all these kind of things that are useful. And so why I like these books is just that, like first of all, the goal is for you to start speaking as soon as possible as quickly as possible and at the same time you kind of acquire the new language in a really natural way so you directly get started with daily life situations so with daily life dialogues and you sometimes also have to really like the direct translation so to say word by word so you can really understand which word means what and like what word means what and yeah just always have the translation on the other side to compare the words and the sentence structure and all these kind of things and so it's really useful i believe and it's also for lazy people who don't want to study a lot who don't want to study a lot of grammar like you just also learn the vocabulary in a really nat in, a, in a really natural way you just go over the text yeah, a few times and I don't know, maybe one day and then the other day again and the next day again and you just kind of naturally learn the vocabulary and you don't have to learn everything by heart and just take a look at the, your vocabulary list over and over again which can be really boring and tiring and so yeah, this is why I like these books and yeah, let's get started with the video. All right, so here we have the first lesson. Erste les, erste les. Bent u ziek? Which means, are you ill? And u, u is uh, you, the formal you, bent u ziek. Like the you, the formal you is not so often used, not as often as the formal you in French, as an example but you still use it, yeah, in formal situations. So I'm just going to read through the whole text once and then we're going to translate it. Erste les, bent u ziek? Goede dag, mevrouw de Vos. Dag, meneer Janssens. Hoe maakt u het? Niet heel goed. Bent u ziek? Nee, maar mijn vrouw is ziek. Mijn dochter is ziek. Mijn zoon is ook in bed. En mijn schoonmoeder? Wat is uw schoonmoeder ook ziek? Well, no, nee, my schoonmoeder is now by us thuis. So we have Bent u ziek, which means are you ill? The formal you are. Like the informal you would be jij or je. So Bent u ziek, are you ill? Goede dag, good day, goede dag, mevrouw de Vos. Um, 
Mrs. De Vos. Dag, meneer Janssens. Um, also, good day, but like you just say day, basically. Meneer Janssens, Mr. Janssens. Who marked it? How are you doing? So, how marked? How, how do you make it, basically? Like, literally, it means how do you make it? Um, because marked means to make and who marked that how do you make it basically that is it um, then we have niet heel goed not very not very well or not so good not so good not very well let's see how they translated it not very good all right how make you it Okay, how make you a distillatural version? Now we have Penduzik. Are you ill? Nay, no. Ma mein Frau is sick. But mein Frau, my wife is sick, is ill. Mein Tochter is sick. My daughter is um, ill. Mein Sohn is auch in bed. My son is also in bed. He's staying in bed because he's sick. Or he's also ill. And my schoolmother and my mother-in-law, I believe is the English. Yeah, my mother-in-law. And my, and, and my mother-in-law. Um, but what is your schoolmother auch sick? Is your mother-in-law also ill well nay well no mein schoolmother my mother-in-law is new by on house is now um at our house by on um, by on um at at us with us yeah with us at home is now with us at home that's the literal translation so then after we've been through the text we have the first um, exercise which is just understanding what is being said and then we have to fill in the gaps and so I don't know if we we, we can do this once and then in the next lesson we're only going to fill in the gaps I think and so yeah here we have um, my son is not at home. My son is not at home. Is your daughter also sick? Is your is your daughter also sick? Uh, also ill? Who marked your schoolmother? How is your mother-in-law doing? Or how how did they translate it again? How make you it, yeah. How makes your mother-in-law it, it. How makes your mother-in-law it. So, how's your mother-in-law doing? My Frau de Voss is by uns taus. Mrs. de Voss is with us at home. Mein Frau is nu in bed. My wife is now in bed. In the bed. Meneer Heel mag het niet goed. Mr. Heel um, doesn't make it good, so he's not doing well. Bent u mevrouw Janssens? Bent u mevrouw Janssens? Are you Mrs. Janssens? Hoe gaat het met uw zoon? How is it going with your son? Alright, now we're going to fill in the blanks. So we have Hello, we have hello Mr. De Voss. How is Mrs. De Voss? So we have Dach because we see we need three different letters. Dach Minea De Voss. Who marked Markt, Mevrouw de Vosset. Then we have 
Mrs. Janssen's is not doing very well. Het gaat niet goed. Not well. Het, het gaat niet heel goed. So it is not good. It is not going very well. With Matt, Mevrouw Janssens. Het gaat niet heel goed. Um, it goes not so good. So it's not going so well or not very well. Met Mevrouw Janssens. With Mrs. Janssens. Alright, let's check if it's correct. Dag, who marked het? Mijn niet thuis ziek, u ziek, vrouw nu in het niet heel met. Oké. Okay. Then we have another small exercise and this only is included in the Dutch book. Like I haven't seen it in any other Asimi book yet. And it's basically to get used to how sentences are built when it comes to the order, the word order in the sentence. In the different senses and yeah I never really had a lot of problems with this sometimes because sometimes there are differences between Dutch and German but like if your native language is English or if you only like actually no matter which kind of language you're, you're already speaking if it's not German then yeah it's a bit harder to get used to the sentence structure I think like to the word order in the senses I don't know how it is like with Scandinavian languages or other or other Germanic Germanic languages, I don't know, but like yeah, this is just really useful if you would like to get to know the word order in the sentences. And so basically you can build sentences with is like this is a question, yeah. So we have is u schoonmoeder um of u or u zoon u dochter mevrouw de vos meneer vaten Frau, Usronson, and then, um, and then, Oak, Nu, Nu Oak, and then, and then, um, Sieg, Taus in bed. So we can say, Is Usronmuda Oak Sieg? Um, of, of means or, of, Is Usronmuda Nu Sieg? Is Usronmuda Nu Oak Sieg? Um, now also, this is also, this is now and now also. Or is u zoon nu taus? Is u dochter nu ook taus? Of is u vrouw nu ook in bed? Is u vrouw ook taus? Is u vrouw nu ziek? And so on. And I also want to show you real quick how the book looks like from a single. Um, I never know, like the camera is standing so not straight today. Like it's so, I don't know, but like I hope you can see it. It's not a really big book, not a really huge book, not a really heavy book. Just these rather small books and then you just have different lessons in them. And yeah, I marked some pages with useful grammar explanations or useful grammar things in general. And yeah, I really have to come back to these markers one day and really learn some grammar but yeah grammar is not my favorite part of learning languages and so I like to skip it now we have the second lesson 
um, tweede les. I'm going to read it once and then we're going to translate it. So, tweede les, beide ontvangen. Heeft u een huis? Nee, ik heb geen huis. Heeft u een flat? Nee, ik heb geen flat. Heeft u een wagen? Nee, ik heb geen wagen. Wat is uw salaris? Ik heb geen salaris, ik heb geen werk. Maar wat heeft u dan? Ik heb een vrouw, zes kinderen en schulden. Now we're going to translate it and actually like it's literally it means um, by the ontvanger it means at the receiver. But it's at the tax office. And yeah, I also like this is a rather not so frequently used word just in general. <laughs> like I don't know why they put this into the second lesson already. But I also have to say that sometimes these books are a bit like the texts like the texts are a bit old. They're a bit outdated sometimes, like also the words are just in general the situations. So here we have have to in house. Do you have a house? Um, or like literally have you a house? And then we have nee, ik heb geen house. No, I don't have a house. I have no house literally or yeah, I have no house. And then have to in flat. I also didn't really know before um, reading this book. I didn't know that you say flat also in in, um, in Dutch. I only know it from English. So like, do you have a flat or apartment? Um, then we have heeft u een wagen? Do you have a car? Have you a car? Literally, an automobile. Okay. Like a car. Then, nee, ik heb geen wagen. No, I don't have a car. No, I have no car. Wat is uw salaris? What is your salary? Ik heb geen salaris. I don't have a sal uh, salary. I have no salary. Ik heb geen werk. I have no um, work. I have no job. I have no job. I have no work. Okay. I have no work. Okay. Bahn. Bahn is job. And work is work. Ma, what have you done? But what have you done? But what, what do you have? Oh, yeah. But what do you have then? Um, ik heb een vrouw. I have a wife. Zes kinderen. Six children. En schulden. And debts. Alright. Shall we do it one more time real quick and then we're going to do the exercise. Alright. Tweede les. Second lesson. Bij de ontvanger. At the tax office. Heeft u een huis? Do you have a house? Nee, ik heb geen huis. No, I don't have a house. Heeft u een flat? Do you have a flat or apartment? Nee, ik heb geen flat. No, I don't have a flat. Heeft u een wagen? Do you have a car? Nee, ik heb geen wagen. No, I don't have a car. Wat is uw salaris? What is your salary? Ik heb geen salaris. Ik heb geen werk. I don't have a salary. I don't have a work. Maar wat heeft u dan? But what do you have then? Ik heb een vrouw, zes kinderen en schulden. I have a wife, six children and debts. Alright. Then we have... Fill in the blanks exercise. So, what is your salary? What is u salaris? So, my automobile is not very good. My, 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 my wagen, my wagen is not. Heel goed. I have 
good work now. Ik heb nu. What did I want? I wanted to write één. Ik heb nu goed werk. Mrs. Lehmans does not have a son, but a daughter. Mevrouw Lehmans heeft geen zoon. Geen zoon. Ma. Ma. Een dochter. My mother-in-law also has debts. Mijn schoonmoeder. Alright, now this is going to be a long word. My schoon moeder. Mijn schoonmoeder heeft ook schulden. And so here I can really I can really tell you how similar Dutch is to German. So like schulden means schulden in German and so a lot of words are like this they are really like almost identical in Dutch and German and I also I come from the north of Germany where people speak how do you say this lower I don't know how to say in English it's called Plattdeutsch in German and like also Plattdeutsch and so like lower lower northern German or whatever and Dutch are really similar and so I didn't really have a lot of problems with learning Dutch like especially when it comes to the words all right let's check it um, what is your salary? Mein Wagen is not heel goed. Ik heb nu goed werk. Mevrouw Leemans heeft geen zoon, mijn dochter. Mijn schoonmoeder heeft ook schoon. Alright, now we have the third lesson. The derde les. Geen geluk. Zeg, wie is die meneer dan? Kent u hem niet? Nee, het is meneer de Vos. Hij werkt bij, bij de bank hier op de hoek van de straat. Is hij bediende? Nee, hij is nu directeur. Directeur, dat is interessant. Heeft hij een dochter? Ja, maar ze is al getrouwd. Oké, okay, nou, just going to translate it. Derde les, third lesson. Geen geluk, no luck. Zeg, wie is die meneer dan? Say who is the who is this man there? Who's that gentleman there? <laughs> the translation or the mister. Can you him need? Don't you know him? Don't you know him? Yeah, don't you know him? Nay, no. It is Mr. De Vos. It is Mr. De Vos. I worked by the bank. He works at the bank. Hier op de hoek van de straat. Hier, at the corner of the street. Hier, on the corner of the street. Hier, on the corner of the street. This is, like, I'm not so good with, although I'm fluent in English since years, but like, when it comes to at and on and in sometimes, no idea. So, here on the corner of the street. So, hier op de hoek van de straat. Here on the corner of the street. Is hij bediende? Is he... Um, is he a normal worker there? I don't know. Is he a clerk? Okay, a clerk. Nee, hij is nu directeur. No, he is now the boss. <laughs> he is now director. He is now director. Directeur, that is interessant. Director, that is interesting. Heeft hij een dochter? Does he have a daughter? Ja, maar ze is al getrouwd. Yes, but she is already married all right one more time real quick there the last third lesson geen geluk no luck zeg wie is die meneer da? say who is this man there who is this mister there can't you him need don't you know him nay no het is meneer de vos it is Mr. De Vos. Hij werkt bij de bank hier op de hoek van de straat. He works 
at the bank here on the corner of the street. It's at the bank, correct? Yeah. Is he bedient? Is he a clerk? Or is he clerk? Um, no, he is now director. No, he is now director. Director, that is interesting. Director, that is interesting. Heeft hij een dochter? Does he have a daughter? Ja, maar ze is al getrouwd. Yes, but she is already married. Alright. Now we're just now we're going to fill in the blanks again. Would you repeat that, sir? And literally it means what say you, sir? So what what zegt u? Say you meneer. What zegt u meneer? You can't even read this. What is this? What zegt u meneer? The daughter of the director is already married. The daughter van de directeur is al getrouwd. Does your son work at the bank? Werkt u zoon bij de bank? Alright, um, who doesn't know that? Wie kent dat niet? And then we have, like this is a really useful phrase, wie kent dat niet? Who doesn't know that? So like, the situation is really obvious. I would say like this, and then you just be, and then you just like, yeah, we can't that need. So yeah, who doesn't know that? Um, now we have Jan's automobile is at the corner of the street. The wagen van Jan is op de hoek van de. Straat. All right, let's check if everything is correct. Um, wat zegt u meneer? De dochter van de directeur is al getrouwd. Werkt uw zoon bij de bank? Wie kent dat niet? De wagen van Jan is op de hoek van de straat. Everything is correct. And also here we have the sense bow again. We have the sense structure again. Ze is nu getrouwd. Of ze is al getrouwd. Ze is niet getrouwd. Ze is nu al getrouwd. Of hij is nu getrouwd. Hij is nu in bed. Hij is nu bij ons. Hij is nu thuis. Hij is nu op de hoek. And so on. You can just build some sentences like this. So, um... Yeah, hij is al getrouwd. Ze is al getrouwd. Hij is nu in bed. Hij is niet thuis. Ze is niet op de hoek. Um, and then also the names. And yeah. Alright. So, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a like. And if you didn't like it, feel free to let me know why in the comments. And so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching until now if you're still watching. Of course, I hope you've already fallen asleep by now. If you watch this video to help you fall asleep. Or if you watch the video to learn a bit of Dutch. I hope you learned a bit and I hope you yeah, found this video at least a bit useful. And yeah, see you in the next video. Alright, bye. I don't know how to wave into the camera. The angle of the camera is whenever I'm filming like this. I don't know. Alright, bye.